first thing starts to me is, how did you find out about Alba? Um, he, I, somebody was talking to me, I can't remember exactly who about it in the locker room. So I just went to ask, uh, I guess, the tournament direct, the supervisor. And he told me they're just waiting for the medical to come through. That's why I heard somebody else first. That was an hour before the match happened? Um, it was probably when the girls before me were starting, so two hours, maybe. They never actually uh, seemed to give one enough. I heard it was he wasn't able to serve, so I don't know necessarily right. what the rest of it was. And what can you say about uh, mostly yesterday and a bit about today? Yeah, if, you know, to start off uh, in that way, especially not having played a lot of matches, to play a pretty clean match, and uh, obviously to come back today and uh, be efficient. All all of those things are positive. Something I can build off of. Is it, uh, is it better for experienced players like yourself when you have conditions like we had yesterday where, where you don't know whether you're going to go back out there or have to wait for another day? I think everybody's sort of in the same situation. Uh, it's also, I was in a very fortunate situation where I was one game away. So coming out um, today, I didn't really, uh, if I could do my thing well, which I can normally take care of my serve, um, I didn't think it would be too long of a day for me. I think it's different for guys maybe that split the first two sets and technically have a two out of three set match to play today or where momentums can more shift in that kind of scenario, but that wasn't the case for me today. Nilis, what's your medical update? Back, knee, all the various things that have sort of ailed you over the last 12 months. Where are you, are you at with everything right now? Um, I've been since the end of the season... I took time to recover my back and take care of a few other things, and I was able to train um, for about six, seven weeks straight without any hindrances, no setbacks, so I was thankful for that, and then came out and I was able to play in Doha and train before Doha, train here without any anything, so it's been uh, fortunate so far. Gosh, um, you know, Dennis and Felix getting a lot of ink, and Bianca, of course, winning the U.S. Open last year. You're a former Wimbledon finalist, not yet 30 years of age. Does does it bother you? Not maybe bother, but do you feel like, okay, I want to get back there and, you know, be back in the headlines and that kind of stuff? I'm a pretty quiet guy. I, I couldn't care less about that. I care about what I can do on the court. Whatever comes with that comes with that. But for that being my motive, that's the farthest thing from it. What are your expectations for this event? You say you're healthy now. What kind of expectations have you? Uh, one match at a time. Um, when you look back at it, I, it's almost like playing sporadically for the last three years. It's in its own way like a hiatus. So i got to build myself back up and uh, get some momentum, get some consistency, and then you know give myself an opportunity. Luckily, I have a chance to go out again tomorrow, hopefully with good health and everything. And see where I'm at, and then take it day by day that way. Would the Olympics be on your radar this year? Yeah. In that three years of you know, on and off play, do you, do you see the game as being pretty much where it was, let's say, when, since you made the Wimbledon final? Do you, do you feel like there are more dangerous players? Is the game, has the game changed at all? A little um, bit I think maybe just, I don't think it's really changed in any sense. I think maybe just a few guys got filtered out in three years. You know, three years ago, uh, Burdich, Ferrer, these guys were there and they both retired last year. Um, and now you have these younger guys that sort of have stepped up in that time. Sasha, uh, Stefanos, and a, f a few others as well, and the Canadians, and you have the guys. So I think it's been a shift, but I don't think it's, you know, it's still the same guys that have been winning uh, the, big, the, big, the big events. How would you feel about Gary tomorrow if he finishes uh, off? Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know much about him. He played really well last year. He, I think, he won two tournaments, made a few other finals. Uh, it's gonna be a tough match. Um, he's mostly a clay court player, but you know he can play. He can play well. He's won his fair share of matches throughout last year, and it's gonna be tough. And I'm gonna have to do my things well. How ticked off you yesterday when I didn't see the very end? What was the situation like with one game to go? Was there any way you thought you could have played it? If I was serving, maybe I would have rushed it. But to receive and have to move, um, 
I don't think so. It, it, and the rain came down pretty quickly. Like once it started, it wasn't like there was a moment of maybe we could have played one or two points in the moments where it was like drizzling at the beginning. Thank you. Thank you.